Hello, it's Matt, and welcome to, what is this, 17, Gross Oversimplifications. And, um, 17, oh, um, I don't have a joke for that. Um, hope you're ready for some prime comedy. Ugh. Um, alright, so, I normally uh, try and uh, tell you how to do stuff to your guitar. But today I thought I would spend three minutes, three minutes, talking about how not to do something to your guitar, namely this. I've had a bit of a week of it. Everybody's snapping their headstocks off. Must be the season. Um, so I thought I'd have a chat about why that happens and how not to do it. Um, so lots of people straight up think it's a design flaw, you know, or... Um, Oh, yeah, Gibson cop it all the time. Uh, everyone loves to rag on Gibson. Um, you know, their headstocks just fly off if you sneeze at them. Or they say things like, oh, you should, they should snap the headstocks off at the factory. <laughs> Seriously? Um, or they should have never got rid of the volute. Um, well, uh, here you go. Look at this. This is, this is a Sigma. But it snapped right through the volute. So that doesn't make a difference. Um, oh, and and look, that's a Sigma, I think. Yep. Um, this is a Ibanez. Got an LTD up there. Got a Dan Electro back there. Got a Hoffner down there. Got a uh, what's that? Epiphone. Oh, all, all snapped. No Gibsons. Yet. Yet. Must be. It's a wood thing. Um, and it is a wood thing, and this is my crappy example for the week. Um, and it's a piece of veneer. And look, it's really flexible. And then this way, it's really quite stiff. Um, it, it's like your neck. Hopefully your neck's a bit better than that. But um, if you if you get along the grain line, uh, just just super easy to snap. And it's like your um, like when you cut firewood, right? So look at this thing. It snapped along the grain line. Right? So you don't cut firewood like that. You, you lean it up and you get it, and it just cleaves apart. And that's exactly what's happening to your headstock. Um, so what you want to do is remove the potential for that to happen. Okay. So I'm, I'm telling adult people here to be careful. But be careful. Um, all it takes is a tiny knock because you've got it under string tension. Um, it's like 50 kilos of potential energy just waiting, waiting to cleave that headstock off. It's just, it's always there. And oh, and if you're flying, um, lots of people disagree with this, but I don't care. Listen to Matt. Um, if you've got that potential energy there and old numb nuts bag chandler drops your guitar or throws it or falls over in the plane, this will happen. This happened in the case. It just snapped because it's got all this tension and all it takes is a little knock. So don't lean your case up. Don't lean your guitar on stuff. Don't do stupid guitar swings. I don't know. Like, seriously. If, if you don't want your guitar to break, um, actually, maybe you just quit. 